Hi everybody, this is Cindy from Ask Nurse Cindy. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to 2017. So I thought we'd start off the new year with a bang. Those of you that have been following me for a while know that I'm a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse for 39 years and for the 59 years of my life, I've also been overweight and I've struggled. I've tried so many different diet plans. I've tried so many different things. And until I discovered that by lowering my carbohydrate intake and increasing my fat intake, which is called ketogenic dieting, or some people call it low carbohydrate, high fat. When I did that, I was released from a, a lifetime of food addiction, of thinking about food all the time. If you have not been following me on my YouTube channel, Ask Nurse Cindy, I encourage you to do that, to go back and look at some of my videos, especially the water balloon video, where I really go into detail about why we cannot trust the scales. So I thought that since it was the beginning of a new year, I wanted to make sure that you knew that I understand that probably most of us own scales and we're going to get on them, but I want you to think of this this way. Here are the top five things I think we should do with our scales in 2017 and I hope you'll join me with that. So let's take a look and I want you to focus on this. This is pretty complex, all right? But I want you to stay with me, okay? So the top five things, number five. Use it as a doorstop. The number four thing for you to do with your scales, number four, use it as a plant stand. And the number three thing to do with your scales is to use it as a paperweight. And the number two thing to do with your scales in 2017 is use it as a serving tray. And the number one thing I want you to do with the scales in 2017 is this. <gasps> this is what I want you to do with it. I want you to throw it away in 2017. This is Ask Nurse Cindy. Have a happy and healthy 2017.